Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create eye-catching image and video social media posts using Canva. Having high quality social media posts can determine whether or not your post performs well or gets lost in the online abyss. With Canva, you can create highly engaging social media posts for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or any other platform you may be using. They provide you with thousands of pre-made design templates that you can use to easily and quickly create professional social media posts for your brand or business. Whether you're creating a post for a marketing campaign that will actually convert or simply posting a general update for your audience, Canva provides you with the tools you need to get the job done fast. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to access the Canva social media templates, customize a template with text and graphics, add animations and other effects, and export your post to use on social media. So to get started, let's head over to Canva and go over how to access the Canva social media templates. I'll be creating several types of social media posts, but to get started, let's just start with a standard image post. For my image post, I think I'll make a post to promote one of my products on my Facebook brand page. So to access the templates for the Facebook posts, let's go up to the search bar here and type in Facebook posts. From the templates drop down menu, you should see two results with the Facebook icon beside it. Each one has different dimensions, which you can see beside it, so select the one you want, then click it to head over to the templates. This will take you to a page where you can view a huge variety of templates that are available for you to use on Canva. All the templates are professionally designed, and you can edit them any way that you like. No matter what type of post you're trying to create, Canva will definitely have a template for you. They have some free templates, but to access all the templates, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. With Canva Pro, not only can you access all of the Canva social media design templates, but also the entire Canva library of images and graphics, unlock the background remover tool, the video creator, and tons of other awesome features to help you build and grow your brand. To try Canva Pro for free, head over to jasongandy.info and click the unlock Canva Pro button, or simply click the link in the video description. So for my social media image post, I think I'll go with this Canva Pro template here. Once you select a template, it should take you over to the Canva image editor. Here's where you can edit your template images, your text, your graphics, or anything else you like. The first thing I typically like to do is edit my text. So simply select the text you want to edit and type in whatever you want it to say. If you wanted to change your text font, the colors, or add other effects, you can use the toolbar up top here. Also, you can resize your text by dragging the corners and the sides of the text element and rearrange it by clicking the element and dragging it to wherever you want on your template. For my top text, I think I'll change the color. So let's select it, go to the color icon in the top toolbar, then select white. To make my text easier to see, let's also add a drop shadow. To do this, let's click on effects in the top toolbar. This will open up the effects menu on the left hand side where you can add all sorts of effects to your text. To add a drop shadow, let's click on shadow. You'll then see another menu pop up where you can adjust your shadow color, the transparency, the blur, the direction, and the offset. There we go. Now my text is much easier to read. Since I'll be promoting my women's t-shirts in this post, let's change my top text to new women's tees and rearrange it on my template. There we go. Feel free to update all the text on your template and rearrange it until you get everything exactly the way you want. So now that I've finished updating my template text, let's change the background image. I'm going to be uploading an image of a model wearing my women's t-shirt, but you can feel free to add any type of image that you like. To upload your image, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the uploads tab. Here's where you can view all the images that you've previously uploaded and where you can upload new images as well. To upload my new image, let's go up to the Upload Files button. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my template. Once it finishes uploading, let's click it and drag it over to replace the current background image. Not bad. If you double click your background image, you can resize and adjust it as needed. Not bad, but I think we can make it a bit better. First, let's rearrange and resize my text for my new image and delete this simple shop now text at the bottom. Instead of using that simple text, I want to replace it with an eye catching button. So to add a shop now button to my template, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the elements tab. 
Here's where you can search the Canva library for all sorts of images, graphics, and shapes to add to your template. So let's go up to the search bar here and type in Shop Now button. Your results will show everything in the Canva library, but since I'm only looking for graphics, let's select the Graphics tab up top here. Now my search results should only show the graphics related to the keyword of Shop Now button. As you can see, the Canva library has a huge selection of various graphics that you can add to your template. They have some free graphics, but to access all the graphics in the library, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for my Shop Now button, let's select this Canva Pro graphic here. Once you add the graphic to your template, you can then rearrange and resize it as needed. Canva offers many dynamic graphics where you can actually change the graphic colors. If I select my graphic here, then go up to the top toolbar, I can use the color icons to change the colors of the various parts of my graphic. Take your time and select the colors that best match the post that you're creating. Feel free to add more text, images, or search the Canva library to add even more graphics to your post. When designing your social media post, be creative and try to add elements that will make your post pop. There we go. I think that'll work for my example image post. So let's go ahead and download it so I can add it to my Facebook page. To download your post, let's look up at the top right and click on the share button. From the drop down menu, let's go down and click on download. Here's where you can select the download settings for your post. Under file type, make sure you have either PNG or JPG selected. Everything else looks good, so let's go down and click on the download button. And my new post will now be downloaded to my computer. So let's open it up and see how it looks. Not bad. I think this will work great for promoting my new t-shirt design on my Facebook brand page. So that's a quick example of how to create a standard image post. Now let's go over how to create an animated post. Having a well-designed image post will get views, but an animated post will grab attention with motion and animated graphics. For this example, I think I'll make an Instagram post. So just like before, let's go up to the search bar and type in Instagram. From the drop-down menu, you should see results with the Instagram icon beside it. Go ahead and select the one with the dimensions that you want to use. For my post, I'm going to go with the square. No matter what platform you select, Canva will have tons of templates that you can customize to create your social media posts. As you can see, they currently have almost a half a million Instagram post templates. So no matter what type of post you're trying to create, you'll find a template for it on Canva. But in order to access all the templates in the Canva library, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for my animated post example, let's just go with this template here. So first, let's start by deleting all the graphics that I'm not going to be using. Next, let's update my text. This time, I think I'll promote my hoodie. So I have my text. Now I need to add an image of my hoodie to my post. One way to do this is to simply go to your online store, go to your product's profile image, and save it to your computer. We can then head back over to Canva and go over to the Uploads tab on the left hand side to upload our image. So let's click on the Upload Files button and upload the product image I just downloaded from my online shop. Now that my image is uploaded, let's click it to add it to my template. So I've added my product image to my template, but I still need to get rid of this white square behind it. Luckily, if you have a Canva Pro account, you can use the Background Remover tool to remove your background in a single click. So let's select my hoodie, and from the toolbar up top, click on Edit Image. From the menu on the left, you can now click on Background Remover. And like magic, the background will be removed from your image. I no longer have a white square behind my hoodie, which will make for a much better animated post. So if everything looks good, go down to the bottom left and click on Apply. You can now adjust the size of your image and arrange it to get it in the correct location. Also, to make my image stand out a bit more, from the Edit Image menu, let's scroll down and go to the Shadows section. Here's where you can view various shadow effects that you can add to your image. For my image, I'm just going to add a drop shadow. If you like, feel free to add more text, images, or graphics to your post, but now it's time to go over how to add animations. If you look at the top here, you should see a button that says Animate. Let's click that now. This will open up the page animations menu where you can add all sorts of cool animations to your template. If you hover your mouse over any of the animation options, you can get a preview of how it will look on the template. 
They have several categories of animations such as combinations, basic, and exaggerated. For my example post, I think I'll go with this scrapbook animation here. So I've added my page animations, but if you wanted to add a different animation for any of the elements on your template, you can do that by selecting the element, then going up to the top toolbar and clicking animate. You'll see the same animation options, but this time you'll be adding it to an individual element. The rest of my template will still have the scrapbook animation, but for my hoodie, let's change it to this breathe animation. For some of the animations, you'll also see a menu pop up where you can make adjustments if needed. So now that I've added my page animations and animated my hoodie, let's go up to the top right here and click the preview button and see how it looks. So here's my 5 second animated Instagram post to promote my new hoodies. Having just the image itself would be okay, but with the animations, it should really grab some attention. To download my animated post, let's go up to the top right and click on the share button. From the drop down menu, go ahead and click on download. Since we've added animations to our post, under file type, this time we need to select mp4 video. This will allow your post to be downloaded as a video in order to be played on your social media page. So once I download my new animated social media post, I can then post it to my Instagram brand page. So now that we've created an image and an animated post, let's go over how to create a video post. For this example, I think I'll search for a TikTok template. From the results, you should see an option that says TikTok video with the TikTok icon beside it. Let's select that one. This will take us to the templates page with over 8,000 TikTok video templates. You can easily preview any of the videos by simply hovering your mouse over the one you want to view. Just like the other platforms, they have some free TikTok videos, but to access the entire library, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for this example, let's just go with this TikTok video template here. This will open up the Canva editor, but this time with various tools to edit videos as well. So since we're creating a video post, let's start by uploading the video I want to use. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the Uploads tab. I can then click on Upload Files, then find and open the video I want to use for my post. Once your video finishes uploading, simply click it and drag it over to replace the template video. Feel free to add any type of video you like, whether it's a marketing video or a video where you're simply talking to your audience. I can now rearrange the elements on my template and change the text. Also, feel free to add other effects, more graphics, change your colors, or anything else we've gone over. And to make my video post even better, let's add some animations to my template elements. Adding some animated elements to your video can really add some style to your post. So now that I've finished creating my video post, let's go down to the bottom and use the video player to preview my video. As you can see, as my video plays, my text and other elements are brought in with animations. On Canva, you can also add new scenes to your video if you like by clicking the plus sign icon here. But for this example, I'm just going to roll with this. So let's go up, click on share, then go down to the download tab. Just like with our animated video, make sure you have mp4 selected under file type. And if everything looks good, go ahead and click on download. Your new video post will then be downloaded to your computer, and you can now share it with your audience on your social media pages. So that's a quick overview of various ways you can use Canva to create some engaging social media posts. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.